Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In college football, little is better than a good old-fashioned family squabble. Utah and Utah State doing battle in the Battle of the Brothers. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. some exciting football action and I'll tell you what this is a heated in-state rivalry before we head down to the field for the coin toss we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero real Coke taste zero calories enjoy everything Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And this season is officially underway. He'll return it from the three. Brought down at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. receiver and he can't hang on to the ball. Anderson was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and From their own 32-yard line. It's third down. They go with a run and he brought down in the backfield. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. is the punter. Lee fields at the 29. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Utah State's looking to start a new tradition. They got a new leading man on the way here. And I think, you know, players get butterflies. I guarantee this new coach has some, too. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Makes it to the 38-yard line. He's going to go for the home run. That tackle could have saved a very big play. That's a really athletic play for a fullback. I think it's safe to say that the defense was not expecting him to get the ball on that pass play. After a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Brought down the ten yard line. That's a gain of three on the Third down. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Make it fourth and two. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Mike, 
Tackle made right around the 20. Tackle after decent pickup. And we got an injured player on the field. First and 10. Ball on the 24. the middle for a nice game. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Anderson, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it thin From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. The middle. He's to the 40. Inside the 30. Touchdown, Utes. You love to have a home run threat like him in the backfield. Every time he touches the ball, he's capable of tearing one off like that. the extra point. A five-play, 90-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The score now, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled at the 32. Number 11 on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That brings up second and one. He makes his way to about the 42. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. That makes it first and 10. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Quick pass. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled at the 42. Number 11 on the tackle at the 42-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game of five on the play. First down. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes at the 23. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it second and 10. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. So the Aggies saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. 
They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. Scrambling around. And they get the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It's up. No good. He missed it to the left. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Utah is up a score. Fires that quickly incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. The Cavalry's coming. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. The Utes are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. trying to get a rhythm established and for such a negative play to happen loss of yards that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do tackle right around the 28 yard line gain of 10 yards that'll bring up third and two And this is going to be a first down. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. That brings up fourth and 15. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The Utes defensive back sidelined with an injury, and that's really a big blow to that secondary. They need him out there, and it doesn't look like he'll be back. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Anderson back to return. 
He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 31. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Utah is up by four. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 37. Fourth and four. Hackett is waiting for the snap. <laughs> Lee takes it the 21. Oh, Tackle made good. at the 32 yard line. Utah's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan, they understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's immediately tackled. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That brings up second and 13. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Utes lead 7-3. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. A gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Throws and it's incomplete. Johnson, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. It's third and five. Ball on the 37. Just throws this one away. sack on the play. They don't pick up the first down and the ball will change hands. That's a big time stop here by the defense. I know we're only in week one, but this defense looks like they're in midseason form. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Utah holds a four-point lead. Going long. Oh boy, almost intercepted. I'm not sure. Stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike. 
catches it, and he's looking for more. He's big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen, maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Second down and 14. Ball on the 45. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick strike, and he drops it. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 14. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's good for a gain of three yards. Fourth down. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Now he's scrambling. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. He showed his athletic ability on that one. There you see the things we've been talking about all week, which is the athleticism, the ability to improvise, and the big play capability all in one play. What a spectacular run. He fights forward to around midfield. Tackle in space. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Fires out to his wideout. And he is drilled at the 18. Tackle at the 18 yard line. First down. From the 18-yard red zone has not been kind to this offense. Are they going to end this drought? Throws a strike over the middle. Touchdown, Aggies! The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad is a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. And he hits the PAT. So the Aggies wide out, out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback before this game's over. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes it out to about the 36. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 
he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it fourth and inches. Hackett awaits the snap. Taken down at the 29. Utah State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Oh, big hit. He's going to lose yardage. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 28-yard line. Utah State holds a field goal lead. It out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 32. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. And he's tackled at the 40. Makes the catch. Thomas makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a gain of eight on the play. Roger, Roger. That makes it second and two. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. He's on the run. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's on the run. Good tackle there in space. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down. Slides on the play. Gain of nine yards. First down. From the 23 yard line. It's first down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Houston was the intended receiver on the play. We're at play number nine of this current drive. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Utah State is up a field goal. Cross is out to the tailback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. So the Aggies quarterback down on the sideline after getting injured earlier. I think it looks like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we're going to see him back in the game before the day's over. They'll bring him down right around the four-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. Man left, man left. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Utah State. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. He makes the PAT. Dion ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time up. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. 
There he goes. He's at midfield. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. And yeah, they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. It's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Jackson on the tackle at the 28-yard line. That'll make it 31. He's at the 20. He makes his way out to about the 12. Complete tackle at the six. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the fourteen. Calling the loss of eight yards on the play. So we're looking at another third down here. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Utah gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. They'll bring him down to the 17-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Utah State is up seven. quickly and he's got his man and he's level at the 25 yard line the quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks looks for his running back incomplete he just put a little too much air under that one that's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz not only to sack the quarterback but also to force him into making bad throws down at the 33. Utah State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He lets it fly. Number 11 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. in the open and he's taken down right around the 36 yard line gets it he's in space he's taken down at the 40 yard line Utah's going to take their first time out of the half pool is back deep to return
at the 35-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle made at the 45. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Gets rid of it quickly. Incomplete pass. with room to run and they push him out at the 47. It's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he tackles him hard at the 46. makes the tackle at the 36 yard line. Fourth down. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. He's tackled at the 44. A great first half comes to a close. 17-10, Aggies. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Still Reese and David, thanks, time. guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Utah State is up by a touchdown. And here's a quick throw. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Call it a game of 17 yards. First down. Keep choosing Mike. Watch Mike. Watch Mike. He's tackled right around the 44 yard line. left the running back's got it he tackles him for a loss that makes it third and 11. third down and they need to get it inside the 47. Here's 
the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48 yard line. Poole is back awaiting the punt. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards. On That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That brings up third and 14. Receiver and he can't make the grab. So the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. Lee, the return man. down not great but not bad either as long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position then you're headed in the right direction utah state up seven points on the ground with the tailback nice run to the outside call it a gain of five yards man left man left that brings up second and five Up the middle and stuffed. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 31 yard line. He's hit and taken down. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Quick strike, and he drops it. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. complete to the halfback over the middle and they make the stop at the 44 yard line about five yards on the screen it's a well-designed play to the halfback and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play utah state is up a score he's out to the 30 broke away from one there's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here he goes. And he 
and he's tackled right around midfield. He makes his way to about the 42. yard line second down so the Aggies saw one of their key guys go down earlier but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook sheds that one he gets out to about the 15 yard line That's good for two yards. Third down. the sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set Catches it, and he's looking for more. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. They'll knock him down for a loss. That brings up second and goal. From the 11-yard line, second down. And he is drilled at the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it third and goal. He fires right, throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Utah is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Decent pickup. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. And down he goes at about the 29 yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. Makes the tackle. That's a gain of four on the play. First down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gains his way to midfield. That's a gain of 17 on the play. First down. Yeah. 
He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle at the 45-yard line. Gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. He's got the corner. He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 26. Game of 14 on the play. First down. Got it and brought down immediately. Next reception. Call it a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. Gets out to around the 12. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Massive run on the play. This is the 12th play of this drive. And a quick throw. Brought down right around the six yard line. Fourth down. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. There was some movement on the line. False start. Offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Utah State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Anderson fields it at the two. Tackle at the 27. Wow, close game here. Up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the other's done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Two, three, eight. Go. Tackle made at the 29. A two-yard run by the halfback. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and ten. Third down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. Utah State's got a three-point lead. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. That's 
a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Hackett is the punter. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Returns for a game of four yards. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Utah State is up a field goal. Quick out to his receiver, and he's taken down around the 35-yard line. 11 makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Zips it right. And he's tackled right away. That's a game of 18 on the play. First down. And now he's got room to run. He makes his way out to about the nine. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Run there. 53 brings him down. Gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Ball start offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. It's first down. They'll be looking for six points here. After positive yardage. Williams gets six yards on the carry. That brings up second and goal. Laterals back. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. they can get it in here to make it a two-score game. It's third and goal. Utah State holds a field goal lead. And they make the stop at the one. That's a game of three on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 35. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Who was the intended receiver on the play? That makes it second and ten. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. Third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That's a loss of five yards. Bring up fourth and 13. He's tackled at the 37. Three, three, three. 
you know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Utah State up six. Oh, and almost picked off. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. From their own 37-yard line, second down. He scrambled. And he's tackled at the 40. Pool, the return man. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Scott, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Bring him down behind the line. Loss of five yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. with a sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. And that'll be three and out. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Stewart awaiting the return. And he's taken down at the 38. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Utah State with a six-point lead. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Brings up second and one. He's hit and got away. Nice run now to the left there. With the carry. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. And he tackles him hard at the 48. Loss of eight yards on the play. That makes it third and 11. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Trying to 
Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds at the 49. Anderson will be the return man. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over two minutes in the game. He's into the open field. He's out to the 30. Gets to around the 42. That pass led him just a little bit too far, but still great effort. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. He goes out of bounds at about the 41. Just a yard there. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. From the 41-yard line, second down. Tackle after decent pickup. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll make it third and one. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He fights forward to about the 29. That's a game of one. That makes it second and eight. Just over a minute left. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Oliver was the intended receiver on the play. Third down again. Third and eight. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. They come out on an empty backfield. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Fourth and long here after the sack. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. That's a big-time stop here by the defense. I know we're only in week one, but this defense looks like they're in midseason form. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. He has some room. Tackle right around the 50. Utah will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. 
Utah is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He makes his way out to about the 35. The Utes, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. Takes a knee. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. 23-17, Aggie. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Utah State comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.